Unresolved Problem segment tonight, there has always been tension between those who believe in God and those who do not. But recently, with books by atheists Richard Dawkins and others, that tension has reached a flashpoint. You're trying to get to the kids and say, hey, you're an idiot if you believe in God. And it's nothing to do with God. I'm talking about myths from all over the world. The Judeo-Christian myth is thrown in occasionally as one of many myths that come from around but the world. But the Judeo-Christian philosophy isn't a myth. It's reality. This country was, was based on it. Well, that's not true. Yes, it um, is. All right, here now, Dr. Deepak Chopra, the co-author of the new book, War of the World Views, Science versus Spirituality. So what do you say to a guy like Dawkins? I mean, Dawkins, uh, I had him on twice, and you've never talked to him face to face, Oh, right? yes. He ambushed me when I was in Oxford. He used uh, a subterfuge. Uh, Channel 4 called me, said we want to do an interview. I went to the interview. And it was so him. It was him. Yeah, but and you then kick his butt. You could, I kick his butt. I did. For I three hours, out. I kicked his butt. But right. then he took three minutes out of that put it in a movie called Enemies of Reason, and he ambushed some very other... Uh, okay. uh, I don't have much regard scientists. for Dawkins. I think he's a uh, dishonest guy. But um, He, by the way, uses his scientific credentials to camouflage his bigotry, his Well, he, his But he, I don't know if it's bigotry. His, he really believes that we're idiots, Doctor. I mean, uh, he does. He thinks he's a genius. He thinks you and me and the rest of the believers are idiots. Well, and that's what he believes. You, did you see his debate with uh, Francis Collins, the head of the Genome Project, one of the most, most prominent scientists in the world, practicing Christian? And Dr. Collins told him, you do not question my scientific credentials. I have better scientific credentials than you have. And I told him that too, that there were more brilliant men than he who believed in a deity. Now, he basically says that the United States isn't founded on Judeo-Christian philosophy. That's just absurd. Yes, I mean, absurd. I mean, our justice system is based on the Ten Commandments. In fact, what hangs in the Supreme Court? Yes. The Ten Commandments. Yeah. They haven't gotten rid of them yet. They're there. Well, and they're your there book, for a Lincoln, you mentioned, was a believer. Absolutely. Abraham Lincoln read the Bible every day. But you're never going to get through to a guy like Dawkins because there's more emotion with them. Don't you find that? Which that is the very unscientific, by the way. Yeah, they get to, really uh, upset. To, uh, to attack somebody you don't believe in with such vigor and enthusiasm and emotion and anger. It's yeah, I'm not angry that Dawkins doesn't believe. I mean, I don't care what he says, but he gets really teed off. Now, what has convinced you that there is a deity? And, and do you believe in an act of God, a God that actually uh, intervenes in human life? Well, you know, I also have scientific background. And the more we understand the nature of the universe through science, the more we also understand there's more unknown and there's the unknowable. And the unknowable because the scientific discoveries show that the laws of physics themselves preclude us from intellectually getting in touch with the source. You have to go beyond the intellect. You have to listen to the heart. The heart has reasons that reason doesn't know. And you have to, in a sense, understand the great the great prophets, Jesus, whoever, they transcended to a level where they were in touch with the mystery. Of course, they used the language of the time. I and the Father are yeah. one, I'm in but you, that's a, Again, yeah, that's a matter of faith, though. But do you believe that there is an active deity that intervenes in human nature and intervenes in the world? I think there is an active source, an intelligent source that is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient, so all he the does. laws it does of nature, intervene. and that we have a connection to that. Do you believe in miracles? But we have, we have free will too. Well, the fact that we live, that we exist is a miracle. Why do we have to even go beyond that? Well, because the meteorite hit, hit, Amer uh, hit the world, and that's what happened, and the meteorite did this, and then evolution, and you know, but look, the fact comes down to... Evolution doesn't contradict the fact that... That's what I say. Intelligent design yes. does not contradict science, and science has never been able to manufacture one single human cell, have yeah. they? No, not even After all of this the most primitive, uh, most primitive form of intelligence has not been created. And whatever has been created comes from intelligence that is connected to the source of intelligence. Well, I hope you're right. I hope you're right that there is a deity and I hope he's a you just know, God. And my collaborator, Stephen Hawking's right. co-writer, right. uh, says that science does not 
conclude and cannot conclude that God is an illusion. Does not know why there are laws of nature. And that's absolutely true. They don't know. Yeah, does not know why there are laws of nature or why the universe conforms to those laws.